Now I'm going to create the quarter on street A and the surface for street A. So notice that it has a 50 foot right away till about this point and then it has parking on the left to this point, a 50 foot right of way all the way down to this point, parking on the left till this point and then goes back to a 50 foot right away. That's what we're going to build. So you're going to go to corridor, corridor, we're going to call it street A, so type in street A. We're going to change the alignment to street A and the profile to street A. We're going to start with a 50 foot, there's no target, and we're going to set baseline and regions. Click OK. So the end station, if you touch this point right here, it allows you to snap to some place on the alignment. So I'm going to stop it there. Right click, insert a region after, and now we're going to have parking on the left. It goes to the end point of where you ended the station. You could type this in if you wanted. You could rewrite that. I'm just going to use this because we're just getting close. So the parking on the left stops about here. I'm going to right click, insert a region after. It's going to be the 50 foot right away. And it is going to stop. The 50 foot is going to stop about here. And then I'm going to right click, insert a region after. And it's going to have parking on the left. And then I'm going to pick the point it stops, which is about here. And then I'm going to right click, insert a region after. It is the 50 foot right away and it goes to the end. Apply, rebuild, and okay. All right. I am going to change for right now. I am going to change this. No, I'm going to I'm going to leave it. The only thing that concerns me is see how this intersects this. I don't know if it's going to give me issues, so I may end up changing the the length of the slope. So let me go ahead and do that. Just I'm going to highlight all those and I'm going to change them to 50 feet. Watch what it does. So I rebuild this and it only goes to 50 feet. All right. It'll give me possible glitches over here, but I'll go ahead and fix that later. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and create the uh, surface. I'll freeze this off in a minute because I don't really need it, but I'm going to go ahead and create the surface. So on street eight, if you right click and go properties, this is the surface for the street. I'm going to go to surface, click on this symbol right here, create a surface corridor, add it to the top, change this design style to one in five design. I'm going to freeze this off or I'm going to turn it to a no, uh, no display layer, but I want to see if what my surface looks like. Okay, so notice that I have issues here, okay? I am going to change, I'm going to change this to 10 feet. And let's see what side it is. So that is on the left side of the 50. So on the left side of the 50, I'm going to change this to 10 and see if that corrects it. Because this right here doesn't make sense on the surface. And I'm going to rebuild. There we go. All right, so this is still a little jacked up. So what I'm going to do actually, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I'm going to stop it at 23. So if I come over here, actually, I am, yeah, let me try that. I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to stop this at 23. Oops, 23 plus 00, zero would be helpful. 23, 00. Apply, rebuild. And okay. All right. 
So that looks better. That cleans up that area so I don't have a lot of inter interaction, okay? So now I could, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and change these back to, no, I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm gonna leave it as is and just use the front. All right, so now I gotta do alley A. So alley A, I've got, to, I've got to create a assembly. So to create an assembly, I'm gonna come up here, click on assembly, create assembly. Alley A is going to be an inverted crown. So I'm just gonna call it alley. Then I'm gonna pick a point right here. Click on the tool palette, that little button right there, and it's gonna bring up I'm gonna go ahead and close that. It's gonna bring up this tool palette. I'm gonna to go to lanes. I'm gonna use the soup, lane super AOR and I'm gonna pick this line right here. I am going to go to basic and I'm going to pick the basic lane and I'm gonna pick this point right here. And then I'm gonna to go to generic and I'm going to use uh, length, width, and slope. And then I'm gonna pick this point right here. Oops, I clicked on the wrong one. So I'm gonna delete that. Length, width, and slope, that one. There we go. All right, so in an inverted crown, the alleys are only eight foot wide pavement. I'm gonna close this. So it's an eight foot wide pavement. Inverted crown means I'm gonna do a positive 2% slope. So water flows to the center of the road. This is going to be a ribbon curb and it's only going to be two feet wide and it's going to have a positive 2%. And then this is going to be 10 foot and I'm going to put a positive 1%. Okay. I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to click, click mirror. And I'm going to mirror about the center line. So now all the water drains to the center. So this is going to be my alley. So I'm going to copy this. You don't have to do this, but I like to have my labels in there so I can quickly visualize if I need to change anything. I don't have to, the, if you click on this right here, it'll tell you what the name is up here. All right, so now I need to attach it to uh, the um, alley. So I'm gonna create a corridor, and this time I'm going to call it Alley A. Its alignment is alley A. Why don't I have a profile? Oh no, I must have deleted my alley A. So I need to put that back. So profile tools, I don't know how I did that. Give me one second and I'll bring it back. So alley A. So I'm gonna quickly, now I'm gonna set these. So the beginning was that needs to be 30, zero, zero. You don't have to do this. I don't know how I deleted it, but apparently I deleted it. So this one was 8061. This one was 3175. And this was 8150. And this end was 80.57. And this was 105. Okay. So now I'm good. Okay. All right. So let's go back to the corridor home. So corridor. 
and change that to alley A. So now the alignment is alley A and the profile is alley A and we're going to change that to alley. And we're not going to set a baseline because we don't have any transitions. Okay, It's all going to be alley A. So if I look at this, you can see alley A is here. And now I'm going to make a surface out of alley A. So right click, go to properties, surface, oops, give it a name, escape out of that. Right click, properties, I'm going to snap, uh, go to surface, plus, I'm going to change it to one in design, and I'm going to add, apply, rebuild, and OK. All right, so now I can see my two surfaces. I'm going to turn this to no display for right now. And you can see the alley A surface. All right. Now, I also, since I accidentally deleted that, I need to reestablish the um, alignment labels. I don't know how I deleted that. And I'm going to go elevation, add, alley. You all shouldn't have to do this um, unless you deleted it like I did. Apply and OK. OK, so the numbers still match. Just double checking. Like I said, it's, it's, for me, it's just a nice way to check that, that my information's the same. Okay, and then there's my high point. Okay, move this down a little bit. We'll clean it up as we move as we go along. Okay, so I don't need to see this anymore. Um, and I've got uh, my surfaces. I've got alley A and uh, street A. You might have different numbers here because I've been practicing with this drawing to show you as a demonstration so you might not have the same numbers as I do. Just be aware of that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to freeze these off. So I'm going to freeze this off and I'm going to change this to a no plot or an, a no display. And now that I've got my surfaces created, I need to uh, figure out what the centerline elevations are in front of each of these lots, because we have to establish in our grading what the finished floors are. So we, the finished floors are going to be based on at least two and a half feet higher than the center line of the road. All right, so I'm going to pause here and then that'll be the next video.